Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be going over some very exciting content. I think that's very important for the cryptocurrency space. Now it has been quite boring over the last couple of months, right? Bitcoin has not been making any massive moves. We have not seen any huge moves on altcoins. However, a lot of that is still coming. I'm going to be explaining why that is. And so if you enjoy that type of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. And if you're interested, there is links underneath the video to MEXC and CoinW if you're interested in spot trading. Now, if you sign up for CoinW using that link, you can get access to a free trading group, which is led by trading professionals. And so make sure to check that out. And so let's go ahead and jump right into the video here. We can see that today we have some cryptocurrencies that are green, right? And so the last couple of days, we've been seeing some red in the cryptocurrency markets, especially as some of the Bitcoin ETFs start having some outflows. And we're going to see that change in here shortly with the Hong Kong ETF going live here soon. And so we can see Casper here is up 8.7% as they make the transition over to Rust. Very bullish for Casper. And then we can see some other cryptocurrencies here are up as well. Now we don't have anything massive that is up right now. However, I think that's going to be changing over the next couple of months. And so let's go ahead and take a look here at the chart for Bitcoin. Now we had a huge move of bullish momentum, right? Since the Bitcoin ETF went live at the beginning of the year, around $40,000. We saw a push all the way up to $74,000 and since then we have been consolidating and so there's nothing negative about seeing this here. I think this is very healthy for the Bitcoin chart. Now we did see a big push up here and then we're gonna, going to see another big push up here. So it might be a couple of months yet. However, I am very confident that we will see a $100,000 Bitcoin and we will see many altcoins provide 5 to 50 x returns and so don't get shaken out of the market. I think there's a huge opportunity in front of us for altcoins moving forward. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some other news here as well. We have a giant buy signal where a crypto whale has transferred $1.3 billion to Coinbase. And so this is a huge amount of money. This could be a very bullish indicator for the crypto markets. And so we can see here that USDC moving on to exchanges is a giant buy signal. And so in addition to that, we also have Canada here betting big on crypto. And so they were one of the first countries to introduce a Bitcoin ETF. And now they have 40% of institutions now investing in cryptocurrencies. And so that is huge, right? I mean, we're seeing a staggering 39% of surveyed institutional investors reporting exposure to crypto assets. And so something else here we see is the survey found that one third of the participating institutions has placed at least 10% of their assets in crypto, demonstrating a growing belief in the long term potential of this asset class. And so with these institutions placing at least 10% of their assets in crypto, they have a lot of faith in the cryptocurrency markets. And so something else here as well is the survey also highlighted a growing trend of diversification within the crypto investment landscape. And so investors are no longer putting all of their eggs in the Bitcoin basket, while direct ownership of crypto assets remains popular, with 75% of the crypto exposed institutions holding them directly, a growing number are seeking exposure through alternative avenues. And so this is huge right here. This is something that I've been saying since I've been making videos on the channel is we're going to see a push to different altcoins, to Ethereum, to top altcoins, and then it's going to funnel down smaller altcoins. And this is where the huge opportunities are going to be. People understand that there's a huge opportunity in Bitcoin, but you're not going to see 10x, 15x returns with Bitcoin. You might see a 3x return. However, there's much larger potential with altcoins. Ethereum could do a 5x return. Smaller altcoins, Solana, even smaller than that if we're talking Telcoin, Veracity, right? I mean, Caspa. A lot of these cryptocurrencies could provide 10 to 20 to 50x returns just because they are smaller in size. And so there's a ton of potential for that moving forward. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart here. And so this is something to be keeping an eye on. And so if more money is starting to move into Ethereum and versus Bitcoin, we're going to start seeing this start flipping up here. And so I'm looking for a break above this channel, which is going to be very bullish for Ethereum and altcoins as money starts flowing from Bitcoin into Ethereum and then larger cap altcoins. And then it's going to start funneling down through smaller cap altcoins as well. I've been saying this on the channel for quite some time that altcoins are where the money is going to be made. There's going to be massive returns to be made there, whether it is 10, 15, to 50x returns on altcoins yes they are higher risk you could buy bitcoin and you could easily get a two or three x 
However, on altcoins, you could be looking at a 15 to 20 X on some altcoins. And so definitely something that I am personally paying attention to as I'm okay with the higher risk. And so let's go ahead and take a look at this as well. We have the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF to debut in Hong Kong on April 30th. Now, yes, we already see a Bitcoin ETF in the US. However, the US has not approved an Ethereum ETF yet. However, we could see a huge increase in volume because of the Hong Kong ETF going live. And so this is something to be paying attention to. I think this is where there's going to be huge inflows of cash flowing into Ethereum. And so this is something to be paying attention to, especially as money starts flowing out of Bitcoin into Ethereum and then into altcoins. And so if we go ahead and take a look at this as well, we can see that Asian traders give Bitcoin blast off. And so I've talked about this on the channel as well here. We can see that traders in South Korea, China, and other Asian countries are responsible for roughly 70% of the Bitcoin trading volumes, much like they were in 2021, when Bitcoin hit such heady highs, according to crypto exchange data from the block. And so Asia already accounts for a massive amount of the Bitcoin trading volumes. Now, what do you think is going to happen when the ETF goes live for Bitcoin and Ethereum in Hong Kong? Now, they already account for 70% of that. And so we could see a huge amount of cash starting to flow from Asia into the ETFs, which could therefore increase the price. So definitely something to be paying attention to as well. We have um, Asia accounting for 791 billion of the 1.17 trillion worth of Bitcoin traded in February with North American investors with only 113 billion. And so then we have 113 billion of the 1.17 trillion, where Asia is accounting for 791 billion, which is massive. And so definitely something to be paying attention to moving forward as a lot of the money is flowing from Asia. And so with the Hong Kong ETFs going live here very shortly, we could start seeing huge amounts of inflows for Ethereum and Bitcoin. So definitely something to be paying attention to. We're also waiting to see if the US is going to approve the Ethereum ETF at the end of May. We're about a month out from that. Now there's not been a lot of movement. There's not been a lot of paperwork being updated. And so it's not looking very promising for the ETF to be approved. However, we could be surprised by that, especially as the ETF is going live in Hong Kong. In the US sees the amount of volume going into the Bitcoin ETF, they may approve the Ethereum ETF as well. So definitely something to be paying attention to. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and check out those links underneath the video to CoinW and MEXC. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.